You can climb Smile. with any hero out of any rank. If you want to find what the most efficient way to climb out of a rank is, then you're asking the wrong question. One of your biggest issues. Pack on Sojourn? Pack on, you just double pack your Sojourn. Why? Would you put and be playing Mercy in low ranks? We know it's the slowest climbing support from everyone who's done unranked jams. Yes. Is this an ironic comment? It's an ironic comment. Okay, I don't know if you're joking, but I'm gonna treat it like you're not joking just for the sake of it. Mercy is the slowest. You don't play Mercy in lower ranks if you're doing if you're smurfing. No, actually, go for it. Okay, sorry. No disrespect. But the reason why people say you shouldn't play Mercy in low ranks is because they've watched too many unranked the GMs. Is it the slowest climbing support? Sure. Your impact is lower than other supports, but it's still significant enough to where if you play Mercy and you play Mercy at a silver level, you will climb out of bronze. It might take you 15, 20, 30 games, more so than like, let's say a support that can carry more, but you can still do it. The problem is, is people watch too many unranked GMs and think that, oh, only people that can kill six get out of unranked GMs, right? If I'm a, if I'm a grandmaster support player in plat, Yes, the fastest way to climb is just to kill five, but that's a flawed reasoning because when you're playing, your only goal is to play better than the enemy support counterpart and over the source of, series, of several games, you will slowly, slowly, slowly rank up. So the, the flaw is that you should only play carry heroes out of low ranks, but the problem is, is that every hero is a carry hero in low rank if you play it well enough. The problem is that people in lower ranks just aren't good enough. And the problem with saying that you need to play fill in the blank hero is not that it's bad advice to play something that, you know, advising somebody to play something, but it's the concept that trying to tell people what to play. For example, let's say there's somebody that really enjoys Mercy, but they read on Reddit that you can't climb out of bronze playing Mercy. So they try to pick Moira, but they don't like Moira. So they don't get very good at Moira. They get frustrated and they're stuck in Elo Hell. Luxshot, thanks for the sub. You can climb Smile. with any hero out of any rank. If you want to find what the most efficient way to climb out of a rank is, then you're asking the wrong question. Because cheesing your way out of a rank is not the same as improving. And it's only a short-term solution because what happens when you're in silver? You're going to go back and play Mercy, but you're still a bronze Mercy. So you're going to go right back to bronze. So what's the point of climbing? What's the point out of cheesing? Right? How many, how many, how many people were heal botting in Kiriko and got to Grandmaster and then the, the hero gets balanced and they don't know how to play the game and they go right back to Masters again or Diamond? Why, why are we trying to cheese instead of just get better at the game? It's such a short term solution and it doesn't actually like if you want to play Mercy in gold, you need to learn how to play Mercy in bronze. And the problem is, is that people say, well, uh, well, you don't get lower ranks. Shut up. You're totally wrong. I've coached so many bronze and silver players, and I, well, yes, and I was bronze myself. You're totally wrong. It's just total fake news and cope that, oh, well, it doesn't work. No, it does. You're just bad. You're bad. It's okay to be bad, but don't sit there and pretend that, oh, it doesn't work in lower ranks. It absolutely does. You're just bad. Oh, off angles. Nobody takes flight. Yes, they do. You're just bad. Well, I can't, you know, you can't wait to group up with your team because... It, listen, you can't, okay, fine. You can't play with five, but then play with four. Group up with the majority of your team, even if it's four. If you guys stagger, fine, fight with four people instead of five, or three people instead of five. Mechanical expression is what gets you out of low ranks. Honing that, sure. That, you can make a good argument that improving mechanics is the best thing that you can do to get and the fastest way to get out of lower ranks. But the problem with that is that honestly applies to every hero. If Mercy can improve her movement, even to a base level to where you can just do a super jump or a guardian angel cancel, you will legitimately cut down on your deaths by almost half. Right? And if I'm a person, and even if you're within rights of direct mechanics in terms of hitting shots, sure. But what if, do you want to encourage somebody who enjoys playing Mercy to grind mechanics on a hero they don't enjoy to get out of silver and then go right back to bronze again playing Mercy? You kind of see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's even if you're right in terms of killing, clicking heads is the fastest way to rank up. And I, and I, I think you probably are. It still won't help somebody who wants to play Mercy and plat. How do they, how are they going to get there? They're not going to get there by playing Moira. 
I'm going to tell you that much. And if they do, then they're going to pick Mercy and they're going to go right back down again. They're going to they're going to get the plat or gold one tricking DPS Moira. They're going to pick Mercy and sustain maintain like a 40% win rate with Mercy and gold until they're right back in silver again. So you have to be really careful. I don't think the the, the thing is, is it's not just that the the idea itself is wrong. It's not necessarily wrong. It's just it encourages players to do things that they shouldn't be doing. Because I have more fun playing Brick. Exactly, Dark Aura. That, that's what you should be aiming for. When you have fun playing a hero, that's what you should need to be aiming for. How does a Brig in lower ranks climb? Right now, I'm looking at Dark Aura, Dark Wave right now, and I think Dark Wave would do a little bit better to focus a little bit more on pack usage, making sure that we're not just using packs for no reason, and trying to help our DPS or supports when they're taking flanks. Right there. It's not sexy, it's not flashy, but it's good and it will help you. And it's also not something that's, oh, it's a cheese quick way to get to higher rank. You know, it's how you play Brig at every rank, right? At every rank. So what will help you to get you to high silver will also help you get you to gold and get you to platinum and diamond and so on. So as you improve, it's not a cheese. It's how you play the hero. It's a very important skill for her heroes of all ranks, right? It's pretty good. No, I, I disagree about the Mercy thing. The, how does anything die in bronze if nobody hits their shots? Honest question. Ults do the trick usually? Okay, so then with Mercy, you damage boost people who are playing aggressively with ultimates. And maybe in lower ranks, you have to be more dynamic with who you pocket and how you pocket. But it doesn't matter. If you pocket people who are going aggressively with damage boost in lower ranks, it's still useful. I hear a lot less of that clicking noise. Sure, but it will still, but doing it better than other mercies is still going to be useful. If accuracy drops in bronze, blue beam value is proportionally different than in higher rank. Absolutely. But, we're, but remember, the blue beam is only if somebody's not critical. So what you might do is you might pocket aggression in lower ranks, but you have to spend more time healing than damage boosting because they're moving. But also people in lower ranks have worse movement there. So it's like, I don't know. Blue beam focus is less important in lower ranks than it is in higher ranks. And you might be right. So there might be more efficient ways to climb as a mercy player. Maybe cutting down your deaths is more important. Ha, C9. Um, but it doesn't matter. Improving your blue beam usage is still worth doing.